Welcome back to the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, January 16. This is industry day. We're doing some quick display tours. This is show debut. This is the Coachman Galleria, and we're also in the Coachman Beyond booth. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van travel experience and Class B RV ownership. That's what we do here is we promote that, and it's a delight to have you here on the live and maybe watching the replay. Uh, let me show you this van. It's really cool. I'm going to spin the camera around. And I've taken my hat off and my backpack because I was overheating. Uh, so here's the deal. The gallery is on the large Est Sprinter chassis. She's a big girl. But wait till you see the inside. New floor plan. Brand new. Look at that. That's new. Super cool. Uh, here's some specs. Available at General RV and Sunshine State RVs. We love sunshine. Okay, you ready for this? Power door. Looks kind of familiar, right? I think this is new. Nice big grab handle, spring loaded bug screen. Love that. Beautiful, soft touch marine vinyl. A little bit of power stuff here, a light. Big old step to get inside. Coach really makes a nice, nice rig. This chair spins around, so this could be a work surface. Have some power. This is Garmin, which is a competitor to, to Flyer, Firefly. Got a window here. How cool is that? Big old cabinet. Got some of uh, the systems up here. I love this. It really takes advantage of the size of the van, right? Nice job. Ooh, look at that. I didn't expect that, did you? That's cool. And pull out drawers, soft clothes. We actually met the um, Amish gentleman, not a Mennonite, he was very quick to correct me. Amish gentleman is in charge of the cabinetry at Coachman. He looked pretty Amish, let me tell you. TV one, TV two. Let's look at the galley quick. Nice use of extra space here. Outlet, induction cooktop. This one actually has the info, info sheet, so we'll save that for last. Spice rack, again, plush. A little bit of balance here. Soft touch, sink. Let's see what's down here. Beautiful storage. Tip out for your sponge. Ah, trademark thing. And you can put recycling back here, which is so great, right? And let's see what's down here. Whoa, big old pull-out thing, great. Another big old pull-out thing, Whoa, great. Convection, is that right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a convection. Microwave, so awesome. The storage up here. Moving quick. Ask some questions. Uh, thank you, Sherry. Yes. Hey, Shelby, good to see you. Okay, uh, let's round out the galley, Scott. This is the fridge. This is the Nova Cool. My Nova Cool has been running for over five years continuously, except for about 30 days. This is the chest style freezer. That's open. Give it a big tug. There we go. And these are, I think, let's look, separately controlled. Yes, sir. So this is a fridge control. So if you don't want a freezer, you can actually turn the freezer off. So you have like, I don't know, chips and paper towels and stuff down here. Or if you want more fridge space, you can make more fridge space. Uh, for me, this would be a bourbon cabinet, I think. <laughs> uh, okay, rounding out the galley. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, don't do that on me. There we go. This is all new, I'm trying some new stuff. What do you think? And this is a big old wardrobe, probably, with a clothing rod or shelves. Again, pull out, soft clothes-ish. Okay, before, let's look at this. This is kind of what's new. So two twins, twin, twin, put in the middle, you got a big old bed, but you can kind of still scoot out at night. Step, in storage maybe, huh? Oh, look at that, for your dirty clothes. That's cool. 
What do you think of that? Maybe that's more bourbon storage. I don't know. Cat box, maybe? But it's really nice. So again, twin bed or one big bed, you can move this and it becomes like a, a nightstand. I don't think they convert to a couch. So you're kind of limited to sitting, watching TV up here with your chair spun around. There is a TV and there's a TV back here too, which is pretty awesome. The storage, really nice, beautiful cabinetry, right? They're using a Truma air conditioner one of the most modern air conditioners on the market. Now they did put a second back bunch of cabinets or a cabinet back here. Mm, let me know what you think about that. I actually would prefer to have that open to get a little bit more open feeling, but let me know what you think about that. Again, more storage and kind of get the idea. Uh, this is a lithium equipped coach. All right, you ready for this? How much do you think this bad boy goes for? MSRP is, you ready? Yeah, nobody pays MSRP, but this is going for 280 grand. It's got a options of 51 grand, which I don't quite see. I'm guessing, I don't know. This has a uh, Victron, dot, dot, dot. All right, but nobody pays that. Don't panic too bad. Pretty cool, right? Love that, love this. Bathroom, ready? Fairly standard stuff. Oh, it smells brand new. So our traditional wet flush toilet, shower, really small sink. It does have a shower curtain so you can kind of move the doors out and then use the shower curtain. Glass, and those these do not have glass in the cabinetry, which is kind of a coachman trademark, right? Okay, let me know if you're getting dizzy trying not to make it so um, all right let's look at the um this is the beyond this is on the ford transit chassis again this is with a big old girl galleria li3 designating their again power door so let's walk around out here quick Ga uh, awning windows do open should we take a peek in here Ooh, lots of storage. Lots of storage. There's a lithium system. Smart plug. Shower. There's the LP connection down here. Dual wheel. This is probably going to be waste. Yes, waste. Looks like a macerator style. Uh, yep. So this pulls out, so it's kind of grinding it at the source, which is great. Pretty sleek looking. Oh, she's a big girl though, holy cow. What do you think? All right, I've parked my stuff here. Let's look at the, uh, the Beyond. Again, this is on the Ford Transit chassis. Big running board. There's a sewer connection. Spray port. I know about that. Solar, dual wheel, smart plug, which means you can't pull it out. It's, it snaps in and then it's weatherproof as well. This is probably, what do you think this is? Uh, shower. Uh, that's your water connections. Nice. Appropriately height. Let's leave that. <laughs> um, right, so you're not having to get down on your hands and knees. Super great. Keep going. Take a peek on the inside. Twin beds with some storage down here. See that? So you can fold, uh, put in your folding chairs and tables. This can also be garage storage, uh, even with the beds like this. Garage storage back here, which is great. Big old pull down bug screen. Again, just really nice. I give. The Coachman, an A build quality. On this side, power, Truma out, awning. Show debut, 
First time seeing, here's the floor plan. Really nice. Not a power door. Big old handle. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really open feeling, I would say. There's a lagoon table mount here. So if the seats are spun around, the table mounts on that so this person can work. There's a little bit of cubby storage here. There's a little bit up here, which is pretty nice. Should we start in the bathroom? Yeah, let's start in the bathroom. A more reasonable size sink, I would say, and a really large bathroom. Toilet tissue holder, shower, miser, water saving system. If you're not familiar with that, it flipped the lever and the water recirculates back into the fresh water tank until it gets warm, then this thing turns color and they flip the shower uh, valve again and then hot water comes out at that point. Really smart way to save water when you're boondocking. Shower curtain because of all the beautiful woodwork. Pretty big. Love the size of the sink, right? So here is the glass doors I was mentioning earlier. The Coachman is pretty famous for. Big galley, again, nice use of it. Just those extra six or eight inches here make all the difference. Induction cooktop, faucet, um, sink. What? Uh, apparently goes this way. Pretty heavy, actually. Okay, let's look at some of the um, storage down here. Shelving, nice. Positive locking, really nice residential style handles. Guess what this is? Yep. Window here, privacy screen, bug shade. No, because this window doesn't open, but that one does. And so does that one. This is probably a wardrobe. Oh, yes. Clothing rod, shelving. If you don't want to put stuff in here, you can hang clothes like I do. Truma, AC again. Let's look back here. I think these are some of the systems. Yes. Storage. Here's more systems. Truma. So twin size beds, and they do come together. This, this comes out like this. Nick Schmidt of Sunshine State RVs, and I did a video on this floor plan a couple of months ago. While this is a show debut, it's been out in the market for just a few months, but we, saw, we put that bed together and this combines into, I'd say a queen size plus bed, really nice. Or what I think most people would do is just use twins. Your feet would go here, head of that size, of that side. Here's a storage locker in the floor right here. Smart, lagoon table mount. There's a little bit more storage here. Pretty cool. Television. Nice. Storage. Beautiful JBL sound system built in. Including subwoofers in the back. Pretty nice, right? Let me know if you're having fun. Man, I'm, <laughs> I'm overheating. I apologize. First time trying this. Uh, we're going to do some uh, just a couple van tour videos, uh, but let me know if you like this format at all. Uh, there's a bunch of YouTubers here, including Traveling Robert, and um, I'm trying to break it up into small segments of specific brands, so we have to, don't have to endure a two-hour marathon. Uh, let me know if you like that or not. Uh, just a delight to have you here. Got 13 thumbs up. Thank you. Let's see if there's any questions. Kalamazoo, nice adjustable shelves, yes. Show an embassy model, please, uh, Scott. Uh, no heavy wood, timber, and embassy. That's actually tr correct, and they are not here. Um, this is where I met Embassy RV. In January 2019, ladies and gentlemen, this is my fifth year doing the Super Show. And uh, trying something different this year, but no embassy here. So, um, okay, let me see if I have something else to show you. Let me just pop out here quick. Uh, it's supposed to start raining in about a half hour. Let's see what's going on here. Is this the same? 
Uh-oh, limited supply. Red alert. This is the 22C, which I think has the motorized bed, yes. So same, identical up here. Love this new gray color, though. Super modern. It's just the right color gray. But this is the power bed, so this comes down this way, and then these two meet. And that is, uh, makes two twin beds, or you fill this all in, right? You probably know the deal, here's the, the rail. And you put a cushion here, and then uh, this whole thing becomes a bed. Again, fairly familiar. This has got the brushed aluminum. I didn't see that in the other one. I don't see a spec sheet here. Here's kind of the, some of the information. Induction cooktop. We sort of saw that on the rest. This is a claim to fame. A paper towel holder. All right, let's back out of here. So you don't want to miss the uh, live stream at a little after 2 p.m. Right. Eastern. We're going to be down at the uh, Sunshine State RVs. We've got a huge announcement with Coachman, Rubber Vans, and Sunshine State and myself. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, so be prepared just a little after 2 p.m. Eastern. I think that wraps up this Coachman display for Galleria and beyond. Uh, nope, here's another show, show debut. This is the 2024 rear bath, 22 feet rear bath. Show debut. This is the floor plan. Let's pop in here quick, what do you think? So again, kind of a familiar floor plan. Driver's seat, right, is on the Ford Transit. Galley, fridge, twin bed, twin bed. Let me know if you've seen this before. Cabinetry. Rear bath. Coachman does a really beautiful job. I gotta show you the outside of these doors, so stay for tuned for that. Here's the flip down. Uh, much better quality. I think these come from Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Look at the floor drain here. That's pretty much like a residential or a hotel. What do you think? And this is a nice touch here, right? Just a little extra square footage that's horizontal. Microwave. Standard. Oh, there's where they're hiding the price. Haha, -ha, now I know the program. Show pricing. MSRP, 211. You can get it for 150. Now I know where to look. On the general RV displays. Really nice. The um, bug screen. Let me show you the back quick. And then we're going to see if we can get, say hi to some of the guys because I see them out the window. There they are. We'll say hi to them. Are you guys okay to say hi on YouTube Live in a minute? Yeah. I'm going to finish this quick. Make yourselves pretty. This is the GM of uh, Coachman. So this is the back. Again, really nice space utilization here. And what I love about this rear bath implementation is that the, this wall hides the toilet. Everybody else has the toilet. There's a pull down bug screen. Oh, there we go. And uh, just again, really well done Coachman. Beautiful van, white interior. All right, here we are. Hello, hello. We got Nick Recchio, YouTube you Live. Say hi to the folks. Hello folks, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Doing great. Here's Peter. We know him. Hello. And Seth, do you want to be on camera? Too late. Seth. <laughs> Seth. Leave him alone. So this is the GM of the Coachman uh, B Van Division. We're got a yep. special announcement a little, little after 2 yep. p.m. Uh, Eastern, so you don't want to miss yeah. that. Includes these characters right here yes. and me. So we're just doing a quick uh, thing. So we'll see you guys in a couple hours. See you, Scott. Thank okay. you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Always nice when you know the people that build these, you get a little special treatment. Okay, hopefully my backpack is still here. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to stop this, uh, this stream here. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, give a thumb up if you got anything out of this. And um, again, if you like uh, videos about van tours, van products, van places, I'm just starting next month, my sixth year, a full-time in my van, a Winnebago Travado. And it feels like we're just getting started. It's just such a delight to have you here. Thank you for watching. Appreciate that. And until the next stream goes live uh, here shortly, we'll say peace be with you. We'll see you soon.